Good morning, Comics, and welcome to Wit AM, your daily newscast of world, national, and local news. We also have entertainment, sports, campus events, and your daily weather outlook. I'm Cesar Carball. Control of Congress is still hangs on the balance of several House and Senate races remain too close to calm. Republicans racked up wins on Tuesday, but fell short of a decisive red wave that many analysts predicted. Senate races are still being tabulated in Arizona and Nevada, while December runoff will decide the winner, the winner in Georgia. Some former President Trump's aides are reportedly telling him to hold off on announcing the third run for White House. Trump has been hinting he'll be making an announcement next Tuesday. One former advisor who was at the mar a logo Tuesday night, Trump said that he'll wait until after Georgia Senate runoff election next month. The Speaker of the House admits that the midterm elections may change conversation about climate change. Republicans could retake the House while control of the Senate is still in the open question of speaking in Egypt. California Democrat Nancy Pelosi noted that opposition in the GOP climate investments in the Inflation Reduction Act However, she said that she's confident that the children of the Republicans will teach their parents about urgency and acting on climate. Three Iowa counties are starting their election recounts today. Dallas, Des Moines, Warren counties are starting their ballot recounts today. The counties believe a combined of more than 800 ballots may be in doubt. One statewide race may hang on the balance. Democrat incumbent state auditor Rob Sand leads Republican Todd Halber by a third, per, third of a percent. Iowa voter turnout for this year's midterm election comes close to a record. Iowa Secretary of State Paul P Pat says 1,220,000 Iowans cast ballots in Tuesday's election. The second highest ever for midterm election is 2018's election is still tops more than 1.3 million. Pat says every county is doing post-election audits and randomly selected precincts to help ensure the integrity of the vote. He says the governor's race in constitutional amendment ballot will measure will also be audited. When we come back, we'll take a look at your WITV, weather, sports, and entertainment. Stay with us. I've been deployed overseas six times with multiple combat tours. I have had a bounty placed on my head by insurgent forces. I haven't missed a day, a beat, in my career. I haven't been in the hospital since the day I was born. Only one thing has been able to take me down, COVID. And now I've done my part to take COVID down, getting the vaccine. Watch us on WIT AM and This Week on Campus. News by students, for students. We report daily news that is relevant to you. Students can count on WIT AM Monday through Thursday for your morning news and This Week on Campus every Friday. My name is Tosin Hikioya and I will keep you up to date on weekly campus events and information. Check us out on youtube.com slash WITTV and around campus so you never miss out on the latest events and information. Welcome back. In sports news, both men's and women's basketball teams for Iowa and Iowa State opened the season with a win. The Cyclone women opened the day with a win in Ames against Cleveland State yesterday morning. The Cyclone men later beat IUPUI. The Iowa men opened the Hawkeye doubleheader by topping the Beth Ann Cookman in Iowa City. The Iowa women then beat Southern U University. The four teams won by an average margin of almost 42 points. Academy Award-winning actor Sean Penn is gifting his Oscar to Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky as a symbol of faith to get through the war with Russia. 
Zelensky posted about Penn's gift on Tuesday on Instagram. He said this week's visit is Penn's third since the war started in February, but the time is special. He wrote about Penn, that Penn's Oscar is a symbol of faith in the victory of Ukraine, and it'll be in Ukraine until the end of the war. Thousands of homemade pies will help serve those with critical illnesses in San Diego. Volunteers will assemble and label 3,000 pie boxes this week, prepping its 18th annual Mama's Pie Thanksgiving Bake Sale. The boxes will go to professional star bakers in San Diego who will donate their time and talent with each pie. Each pie costs $32,000, $30, $32 out of 3,000 uh, pies. There are only 850 pies left to sell. Now taking a look at today's weather, we'll have a chance of showers and thunderstorms before 9 a.m. and a slight chance of showers between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Between other than that, they'll be partly sunny and temperatures will be falling around 30 by 5 p.m. Breezy with gusts reaching as high as 35 miles per hour. Tonight will be partly cloudy with around 18 and tomorrow will be mostly sunny with a high near 28. And today on campus, we'll be celebrating Veterans Day in front of admissions from 1045 to 12 p.m. Thanks for joining us and be sure to check up on our latest web TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. Enjoy the rest of your day.